very different vibe from this one already. New character? Year 2007, a young scientist, Dr. Elizabeth Hammond, revolutionized the world as we know it with the invention of the first ever Ansible or superluminal communicator. What? What up, Delta? Zero latency computing soon became the standard in Hammond Corp. A household name. But in 2053, a bizarre unexplained tragedy befell Jones Station, Antarctica, when an entire research team helmed by Hammond Corp. vanished without a trace. Dr. Hammond was with them. She was never seen again. Without a CEO, her company floundered. Indra Chowdhury, founder and CEO of the Globe 3 conglomerate, seized the opportunity to purchase a majority of Hammond Corp. and its subsidiaries, thus eliminating her biggest competitor. The acquisition included Hammond's original Ansible prototype. When Indra powered it up, she received a message. Come to Antarctica if you wish to see your daughter again. As it happened, Globe had just inherited Hammond Corp.'s contract for the defunct Jones Station in our country. Where would she find them? Antarctica. So this one's on Earth, at least. Or no, new character. Please wait with the chopper while I get the power online. Place hasn't been occupied for over a year. Will do, ma'am. Call me when you're ready. Hmm. Much. Uh, the jump is a lot shorter. Ice axe, a climbing tool used by mountaineers, has a good heft. Could probably use to break through wood too. Oh, we have. That, we got damage 25, cooldown 15. We got melee weapons. saves. Okay, I can't tell what is and isn't walkable so far though. Meeting notes 227 2053. No cruiser needs new tires. Ran out of garbanzo. Chef wants to know if Postrata Garbanzo is safe. EU team needs fuel for cargo chopper. Nazif hearing voices at dig site wants to get checked out at McMurdo. Drone? Question mark sightings. An old Ansible. Why would they have one of these here? supposed to fall there. <laughs>
There's a secret door past the three bookshelves on floor one, EOM. Who is this? Why did you send me here? No response. Okay, I'll play your game for now. Those boxes respawned. Where's the three bookcases at? Make sure they're not hiding nothing in these boxes. Do not enter. Can I take that snow shovel? Is that a better weapon? What was that? Hello? Have you come back for me? Hey, is someone else down here? Yes, but I need help. Please, I'm further down. Okay, I'm coming. Sounds like a trap to me. Oh, buddy. If I had a nickel. Another one of those computers? Doesn't want me to go down there? That's where the lights are taking me. You can break the lights. Can't go down any further. I don't need to see where I'm going. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag anyway. Compass. A lapis lazuli pendant that is lit up on one side as if pointing like a compass. Now here's an interesting gadget. Did you find the compass? Good, you can use it to locate me. I can figure out how to use it, you mean. How can she hear whoever is talking to her if they're so far away? Uh-oh. That's got to be literally freezing. It's freeze. Oh god, it's freezing. Post now. Do you see a pot or urn? Can't see a goddamn thing. Give me a second. That's swimming in this game. Can't jump. I can move the camera with a flashlight. I can't jump out of the water though. Uh oh. Oh, the water's rising. Look for the urn. It will help. Okay, I see the urn. Now what? I'm gonna release the spirit from the urn. How am I gonna get out of this? Oh, I can't do anything. So this is where it ends. Guess it's just all as well. I deserve this. That's a health upgrade. The hell? 
Uh, what happened? Found my urn. I was able to rebuild you. Just what? What the hell are you? I am Arn, an intelligent collection of machines, and a part of you now. Oh shit! My name is Ama Shalama. It's an honor to have a new wielder. Got to get out of here. Find someone who can get this thing out of me. Put a damn health upgrade right there and now let me have it. Bird. Gosh. The hell are those? Oh, we have down diagonal attacks in air. It's always welcome. something Hammond Corp would have made. They were sent by the Lamasu, a sort of machine designed to protect against interlopers. It's likely to destroy your people's settlement. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Now I just realized instead of starting a whole new game, I should have just did this Prince of Persia on trial. <laughs> jumps I can't make out here. Not to alarm you, but your new body is too dense to float. However, you no longer need to breathe, which should help. It's weirder. What the hell did she do to me? Okay, so there's no more swimming, it looks like. <laughs> there was swimming. Briefly. Guess I gotta go up here. Also, enemies have... I don't know if it's just these these specific robots or what, but enemies have a alert system, like Metal Gear Solid style looks like. Can I go through this log or is this yeah. Is that a boomerang? Gee shrew. Similar to boomerang but glistening with nanomachines. Projectile speed 4, 18 damage, 15 cooldown. Use with the B button. Does not go through lasers. What was the point of this path with the lasers on it in the first place then? Some kind of upgrade. Shashakla. Grant's improved climbing ability, allowing you to grasp ledges and pull yourself up. 
Mr. Shaffle, thank you for freeing me from my chain. What is happening? Well, the, like, well, <laughs> this is so much different than the first game so far. Another one? The arms are many, Wielder. Shashaka, Shashakala, Sheshkala can help you surmount high ledges. How high are we talking here? Oh. No survivors. Can't attack cancel into a ledge grab though. Okay, so I could go back. Oh, what the? Those were not there before. Or I could go exploring now that I can ledge grab. Because there's a lot of jumps I couldn't make before. Apocalypse Flask, small. Augment your powers and abilities by one point. Apply within the skills menu. Physiology, upgrade your body and physical attributes, upgrade your combat attributes. Okay, now we got all those shit too. Additional 50 health points. Damage with handheld weapon. Increases your attack speed. Increases damage with a projectile weapon. Increases speed of thrown weapons. I think attack speed is just probably overall better, right? I'm a little bit confused. I can't get inside there. is all over the place all of a sudden. Dear Ernest, I know you will probably never have the chance to read this, but I'm writing this for my own sanity. I am happy here. Looking back, it is hard to believe I ever worried so much about all the bullshit of the... Oh, you have to scroll down. of the real world. Work, rent, taxes, the stupid rat race. It was hard at first, but now I'm actually glad they destroyed the stupid freight elevator. Didn't think the Antarctic job paid enough, and probably by now you're thinking you were right. What you will never understand is that whether or not I ever see home again, the decision was still mine, and that alone makes it worth it to me. Augusta. Hey there. Oh, thank god. I thought I was alone here. Uh, did you stumble upon our special freight elevator? It's a gift that keeps giving. One-way ticket, unfortunately. Seems we're still trapped here a while. Trapped where, exactly? The locals, the Sagiga, call this place Kindgear? A different universe from Earth. Dr. Hammond built the portal here, but was afraid what would happen if anyone found out discovered a whole alternate world, then kept it a secret? Why? Fortunately, she disappeared years ago, so we can't ask her. Turns out the locals, or their machines, I guess, didn't really like us poking around. Not many of us survived. Please tell me you're working on a way to get back home. Not me specifically, I'm just an archaeologist. But the site manager, Warren, is up at the observatory trying to build a portal going back. Where is that? 
only at the top of the mountain just ahead. But listen, we've got to be honest. We've tried a hundred different ways to get back. Nothing works. Be prepared for failure. I'm Indra Chowdhury. I'll reverse engineer and build a portal myself if I have to. Maybe I should be more optimistic. It's just hard with everyone gone. My name is Malka, by the way. Nice to see a new face around here. Can you tell me about the ruins around here? It's funny, they look like they came from ancient Mesopotamia, but according to radiocarbon dating, these are a few hundred years newer, so it's convergent evolution? How impressive is that? Dr. Hammond knew what was going on, but she's probably long dead. Hey there, build that portal yet? I have to wait a bit longer. Must enter an upstream port. Your daughter depends on you. Who are you? Running out of memory. Go to telescope next. Sector 23-3. Damn, these old ansibles had to be preloaded with all the memory they would never use. Must have already used up every last bite. Ra. Allows you to charge up melee weapon attacks. Hold down the attack button. Companies lays off companies lays off thousands turn profit. November 20, 2044. Millions are plunging into poverty. The economic crisis has nevertheless surfaced a clear winner. Big business. Despite collectively cutting more than 300,000 workers, 47 of the top 50 public traded companies posted a profit this quarter. Either we eliminate 10% this year or 100% next year, said the CEO Indra Chadari. Seemingly tone deaf to the plight of thousands of Globe 3 employees laid off since the onset of the crisis in 2043. Her company raked in profits of 232 billion since then. What the hell? Like real life? True. The ban it's, a, it's a boomerang! Pick it up! Bring it back to me! You got one option, you have one, one job in life, man. Heyman Corp posts record losses. Updated May 12, 2049, 4.22 p.m. Eastern. Heyman Corp lost a record $57 billion in the fiscal year ending in March. How do you lose $57 billion in one fiscal year? What the fuck? The company announced today it was the fifth straight year the company finished with a loss. A restructuring plan was announced with CEO Elizabeth Hammond promising to cut the volume of Ansible's produce. The Belagruge executive has been criticized in recent years of being out of touch when discussing her future vision of the technology often focusing on unrelated projects such as the 5 billion government contract to support research at Jones Station, Antarctica. I'm sure it's nothing. things flying around. Fucking hell. What was that? Oh, 
And they shoot so fucking fast. Tells me I'm not supposed to be in here yet. Let's just pretend that I never started Axiom Verge 2 and that I decided instead of starting a new game, I would just do the challenges added to an old game because that makes more sense.